Hello guys, I'm Ali Sharyuddin and today I will explain the scientific method. Let's start. So first of all, what do you think? What is science? In fact, guys, science is the, is the process of gathering knowledge about the natural world. But it starts by what? All the scientific methods start by initial observations, okay? Let's take an example. Karim observes that a green plant dies in darkness, okay? So after the observation, I will come up with a question. And this question based on the observations that I saw. So this is by coming up by a question, I'm posing the problem. So, Karim asked, why did the plant die in darkness? And to answer his question, he made a research. Karim discovered that green plants are autotrophic organisms, meaning that they are able to synthesize or build up their own food in the form of, in, of, uh, in the form of organic molecules, mainly glucose, which is stored in the form of starch. And these plants use inorganic compounds that they get from their surrounding environment. But still, this research developed a new question, okay? So Karim asked himself again, what is the effect of light on the production of starch by the green plant? Okay, so maybe sometimes if we make a research, maybe the research itself causes us to ask a new question. Now, after this question, which is the posed problem, so the posed problem here is what is the effect of light? Okay, what is the effect of light on the production of starch by the green plant? Karim said, Maybe, and maybe, guys, is the hypothesis. And all the time, when I want to write a hypothesis, it should contain a term that shows prediction or suggestion, like maybe, possibly, uh, or you can put hypothesis to points. So Karim said, maybe the plant produces starch in the presence of light. This was his hypothesis, but still it's not correct. I can't uh, 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 say that this statement is 100% correct. In order to know if this statement is correct or no, I want to test it. So how can I test this statement? I will test it using an experiment. So in order to test my hypothesis, I will make an experiment. And in the experiment, we should have only one, okay? So in the experiment, we should have only one variable factor, which is the factor that I'm studying, okay? So here I'm studying the effect of light on the production of stars. So light will be the variable factor. Okay, and in the experiment also, I will have many controlled variables or many constant conditions so that they won't affect the result of the variable factor. And also, of course, I will have the results of the experiment. Now, in order to study the effect of light on the production of starch by the green leaf, Karim decides to make an experiment using a chlorophyllic geranium plant. On this plant, Karim chooses two leaves, A and B, okay? So, اختار من زيت plant, guys, من زيت plant. So, here, this is a same condition because I'm taking two leaves of the same plant. He covers leaf A by an opaque cover, which is the aluminum foil, and lets the other leaf be exposed to sunlight. The plant is left under sunlight in open air for three days. So this is also what 
This is a constant condition because both leaves are left for three days and both leaves are in open air so they can get the air. So the only variable factor between the two leaves is the presence and absence of light. Okay. The student then cuts the two leaves, A and B, from the plant and treats them as shown in, the, in document one. So he get leaf A and leaf B. Leaf A was, was in darkness and leaf B exposed to sunlight. Okay, then he treated uh, the, both leaves with hot alcohol, then with iodine water, leaf A changed to brown orange and leaf B changed to dark blue. Okay, now this is the experiment. What shall I do? I have to analyze the results of the experiment in order to know if my hypothesis is supported, is validated or not. So, Karim gathered this information, gathered these uh, results, and he uh, 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 make them in a document, and then he have to analyze the results. Now, how can I analyze the results of this experiment? Guys, pay attention. In order to analyze the results of the experiment, I have to connect each variable factor to its result, to its result, okay? Let's see. This is leaf A. Leaf A was in darkness. So the variable factor here is darkness, okay? The variable factor here, darkness. And the variable factor here is light. Okay, so I have to connect each variable factor to its result. So, this leaf that was in darkness, the result was it changed to what? To brown orange upon adding iodine solution. Okay, while leaf B, okay, leaf B that was what? under sunlight or exposed to sunlight changed to dark blue color upon adding iodine solution. So by connecting each variable factor to its result and, and comparing these variable factors, I will get the analysis of the results, okay? So I will repeat it again. So I will say leaf A that was in darkness changed to brown orange upon adding iodine solution and then i have to compare so i will say while or whereas while leaf b that was under sunlight changed to dark blue upon adding iodine solution so by this i analyze the results what is the conclusion here so leaf b that was exposed to light change to dark blue color with iodine solution. This means that it is a positive test with iodine solution. This means that leaf B contains starch. So I can conclude that uh, leaf B that was exposed to sunlight was able to produce starch, okay? So I can deduce that light is indispensable for the production of starch, okay? So it is necessary for the plant to be able to produce starch, okay? That's it, so this is the conclusion. So is my hypothesis validated? Guys, pay attention, always the conclusion allows me to know if my hypothesis is validated or not, okay? So here, when I saw that leaf B was able to make starch and leaf B was under sunlight, so my hypothesis is validated or Karim's hypothesis is validated, okay? And this is the conclusion. So it's done. He made, he posed a problem, which is the question. He formulated a hypothesis, which is the maybe statement, the prediction or the suggestion. Then he made a test in order to test this hypothesis, in order to be sure if, if his hypothesis is validated or not. He gathered the results of the experiment, analyzed the results of the experiment, and then come up with a conclusion 
that validate his hypothesis, okay? So this is the scientific method, guys, okay? So let's sum up. So we will start by making observation. Then after that, I will identify, I will identify the problem, okay? And this problem will be the question. So I will come up with a question based on the observations. After that, I will uh, make a research in order to answer the question. Okay, so I will make a research in order to answer the question. And then after that, I will develop a hypothesis and this hypothesis will be logic and answers the, the question, which is the problem. After that, I will design an experiment. This experiment will have one variable factor and many constant conditions and results, of course. After that, I have to collect and analyze the results, okay? While analyzing the results, I have to connect each variable factor to each result and compare using connectors like whereas, while, however, but, if there is differences, and using similarly or both if there are similarities. And then I will construct a conclusion that will tell me if my hypothesis is validated or not. Thank you for watching.